Good afternoon, everybody. I'm meteorologist Maddie Baggett. All right, so we got a nasty little storm system moving through southern Utah. One of three systems, two of three systems. So we saw the first one a little bit earlier on in the work week, and we are getting the second one. That's going to linger across portions of southern Utah pretty much through Thursday, it looks looking like. And then we're going to get another round that will be rolling on in. That's going to be impacting yet again the entire state, bringing in some precip and some cooler air. So let's get going on this. All right, so winter weather advisory will remain in place for areas like Boulder Mountain. We're talking for higher elevations like Bryan Head, picking up a decent amount. I know Duck Creek Village, I've received a lot of photos from them. <laughs> Nate was smiling back there. Um, received a lot of photos from that area, and people have picked up a decent amount. Definitely good. We can take anything that we'll get, huh? Especially across southern Utah. Okay, so we're seeing those widespread showers, some snow for elevations above 6,500. Those are going to continue throughout tomorrow afternoon. And then we're going to get that next storm system arriving by our Thursday night into Friday. Once again, impacting South Central Utah. So let's take a look at this model. So still hanging out there over the next couple of hours. Things will lighten up overnight, but then pick back up again tomorrow. Slight chance for some showers across southern Utah tomorrow. We're going to see another round of those showers possible for our Thursday. And then high pressure will build in for the weekend. And it's going to be pretty good. As far as rain is concerned, here's what we got going on. We could potentially pick up over the half inch mark for Bryce, Kanab, St. George. So a lot of rain. And this is through Thursday afternoon. So with those two rounds, decent amount. And then we'll take a look at snow. So some areas across Southern Utah have already picked up a foot over the past several days. And additionally, we could be seeing more of that snow accumulate, mainly to the east of 15 Escalante is picking up a decent amount, it looks like. Brian Head, all throughout Central, Paiute, Severe, San Pete, Emory, really nice there. Even the Wasatch back getting a little bit. And that looks like that will be coming more so from the second round into early Friday. Good morning, Teresa. Um, so, yeah. Now, this doesn't account for what we've already seen. This is additional. So, additional 6 to 12 inches for those areas in the darker blues. So, really nice. Yeah, Central Garfield. Gonna get smacked. And Moab picking up a decent amount there along with Tushers. We'd love to see it. I'll just give you a look at the temperatures across northern Utah. So, chance for some showers. Tomorrow afternoon, then Thursday afternoon as well. And then we'll hang out in the low 50s. So that high pressure will build back. So early next week looks to be pretty nice, but it does look like we're going to get a significant cool down towards the end of next week. 
pretty chilly there. And then mid to upper 50s for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Upper 50s, low 60s as we head towards early next week for Southern Utah. I realized that I didn't give you a live look at the current satellite and radar, and I apologize for that. So here we go. So not too bad, not nearly as heavy, but still throughout central Garfield picking up a fair amount of snow. We'll see this increase towards the ride home. Looks to be getting a little bit of strength, but some steady rainfall throughout. Yeah, you can see that coming in. Yeah, this is what's on the way. We have all of this rain to get through. And once it goes over the higher elevations, we'll see that change over to snow. Cloudy today, too. Obviously. All right, everybody. I hope you have a good one. Breck will be with you at 4, and then I will see you tomorrow at 11. Have a good one.